guys, my name is Chrissy, and this is vlog number four. Uh, this week we had two different readings to do. The first one was The Cable House or The World Reversed, and the second one was called Structures and the Habitus. So, The Cable House discussed the roles of men and women, where the women take over the lower part of the house, which it deals with structural things. Uh, the women have the lower part of the house, which is going to be, you know, a lot of the, the things around the house, like cooking, cleaning, anything having to do with the internal structure of the house. So the men have the, you know, the upper part, which is going to be outside stuff, such as, um, you know, taking care of fields, providing for the house, anything that they need to do. So as I'm reading this, I was thinking how to apply this to sign language. So years ago, there was these same differences in the, the roles of men and women. So, um, you know, the men were the sole providers for the household, and the women dealt with the children, everything internally. So, years ago, there was a huge communication gap. Um, you know, the sign language was not widely used. It, you know, they were trying, you know, to abolish it. But it was, you know, still going strong. Um, so the uh, the way I connected this is the women would stay home and take care of the internal stuff, the children, like I said, cooking, cleaning, anything like that around the house, where the men would go out into the workforce. This is, you know, more modern day stuff. It wasn't like going out into the fields, although that was, you know, something they could do to provide for their families. So the communication gap came into effect a lot at this time because employers didn't want to hire deaf people who couldn't communicate with, you know, the other people in, in the workforce. So they would put them if they were hired, they would put them in places that didn't like need communication. So they would go into like factories, and um, you know they could go out into the field, do stuff where there was there was no communication necessary, because if they needed anything, their employers couldn't communicate with them. There was just that like that huge fallout, and. So that's, that's how the differences relate for men and women in the cable house and deaf culture. This, I mean, more modern day stuff, you know, sign language is more widely used throughout the world, so it's, it's not a big deal. Um, structures and the habitus. So, as I said, you know, sign language has been used for many years. So. Um, the half just talks about, um, how, pull the paper, head one, head one, uh, paragraph that I highlighted. So, it says, in short, the habitus, the product of history, produces individual and collective practices and hence history in accordance with the schemes engendered by history, the system of dispositions, a past which survives in the present and tends to perpetuate itself into the future by making itself present and practices structured according to its principles. So this in itself is sign language. It was created years ago and over time and it has, you know, become stronger, more widely used. Families from years ago have passed down, you know, they're, they've taught 
generations, how to sign and, you know, families all over the world have passed down sign language. So, um, you know, a few signs that I thought of that have changed over time could be Christmas, which I learned, I worked with a deaf blind man, um, I think two years ago now, and I'm sitting there signing with him, and he's, you know, I'm trying to ask him, you want what for Christmas? Tell me you want what? Tell me. And he's, he's not understanding. And he finally stops me, and he's like, Oh, he fingerspelled Christmas, which is just using like ABC. I think I, I described that for you in a past video. Um, and he goes, oh, you mean Christmas. So when he grew up, his sign for Christmas was this. But over time, that sign has changed to Christmas. So we have the generation gap where... You know, and it's, it happens all over the place, and it's just like English. Things change, you know, language adapts, changes to fit modern times. Um, and there's, there's something called a home sign, which is specific to families or friends, you know, whatever. It's, it's almost like we would describe an inside joke. So they have a sign that themselves, like they understand that maybe if you signed it in like, in, you know, an open area, everyone would be like, what, what does that mean? So that's something that can be passed down for generations as well. So it's this idea that the language is changing and modifying and it's going down through generations and it's, it's got a great future and it's widely used people are starting you know to learn the language more and I think it's just going to get stronger so that is it for this week I will see you next week